Welcome everyone to Jen's Joyful Kitchen. I'm Jen Haugen and I'm a registered dietitian nutritionist, a Pampered Chef consultant, and a paid nutrition advisor with the Calorie Control Council. I'm excited today to share with you a great meal that's fast and family friendly. It's called pulled pork barbecue. How many of you love pulled pork? But today I'm gonna lower the calories in it with low calorie sweeteners. So just sharing this recipe, you can share it to your timeline. That's a great way to to save it for future use. And also I want you to visit the Calorie Control website for this recipe and a whole bunch of other calorie saving recipes, caloriecontrol.org. So let's get into what we're doing here today. So low and no calorie sweeteners. How many of you use these and what do you use them in? That's what I'd like to know. So share that in the comments um, that below this video. But I wanna share with you who should be using them. So if you're managing a healthy weight, maybe you've gotten to a healthy weight and you wanna keep it there. Maybe you want to lose weight. Maybe you have diabetes and you're trying to manage your blood sugars really well, or maybe simply you just wanna lower the sugar that you take in every day. These are all great reasons to, to use a low or no calorie sweetener. And I want to make sure that you know that low and no calorie sweeteners are extensively tested and they're super safe. So the FDA has approved them. There's hundreds of studies that have shared that how they're, they're super safe for you. And these are all reputable studies and very well done studies. So you can be assured that these are all safe to use in your cooking or in any type of food that you want to add them into. So today I want to share with you again, what sweeteners should you be using if you want to use them for something that's heated because different sweeteners are good for different things. So when you're talking about heating up a food, so maybe it's a hot beverage or maybe you're cooking or baking with a low calorie sweetener, what do you want to be using? So got some options here for you. So the first one would be a sucralose blend that really is a heat stable product. Also aspartame is great for sauces and um, salad dressings and things like that that are great for putting into our, our meals that we're using. And also saccharin based products and also stevia. So all of these are great to use in your cooking and your baking. So today we're gonna do pulled pork barbecue. How many of you love pulled pork? I do. And this is a great meal for every family that needs to gather around the table. And I made it a little bit faster with my quick cooker pressure cooker. So when you look at that recipe on caloriecontrol.org, it actually says to put it in the oven to cook it off and totally can do that. It takes about 40 minutes. But if you wanna speed up the time, I want you to, to use the quick cooker pressure cooker. I did this in 16 minutes in here. So all I did was take our pork tenderloin and you want about a pound of pork tenderloin here. And you're gonna just sprinkle over the top a mixture of chili powder and garlic powder that you have mixed together. And you're gonna put all of that on, very easy. And then you're just gonna grab that piece of pork tenderloin and you're gonna put it inside the pressure cooker. Now I have one done already and I just set it for um, the pork setting. So I put it on the pork setting and I adjusted the time to 16 minutes because this was only a pound. It doesn't take that long to actually put it together or cook it up. So, and then you have that water underneath and it's sitting on top of a rack. So I've got my pulled pork ready to be shredded right here. So you can see it's all cooked up. And you can always want, you can always test it too to make sure that it, it is done. You want it to get to 160 degrees and that will ensure that it's food safe for you and your family as well. So we're just gonna take this out of here and I'm gonna put it inside my bowl and show you how you can chop it up really quickly using the salad chopper. Now this is another tool that can really help you not have to touch the meat because it's really hot when it's getting finished cooking, right? But you can instead put it in a bowl and just start chopping it up. So chop that all up and you're gonna have your pork all done. So this is less than a 25 minute meal. We all need more of those, right? So while that's cooking, those 16 minutes, you are going to make a sauce. And this is where that lower calorie sweetener comes in. So I just mixed up a few different ingredients. I started with my onion and garlic, sauteed that for about three minutes. Then I added some zing to it. So we've got apple cider vinegar, liquid smoke, maple extract, yellow mustard, and a little more chili powder. 
To the end of that, we're going to add a little bit of the low calorie sweetener, so a third of a cup of that. And we're just gonna stir that in. So you're actually gonna cook up the ingredients and at the end you stir in the low calorie sweetener and it's twice as sweet as sugar. So you're gonna get a lot of sweetness for not a lot of calories. And honestly, you're saving like 250 calories by not using sugar. So putting this right over the top of our pulled pork on our whole grain bun gives you a fast family meal that everyone will love. So if you want this recipe, I want you to go to caloriecontrol.org and check it out there. I also want you to share this video for you in the future and for your friends to enjoy as well. I hope you guys are having a great day. Thanks so much for watching.